couldn't sleep. Nora, my aunt. Yes, she was here. How could I ever make amends for such behavior? After what you have done for Lydia, and I suspect for Jane also, it is I who should be making amends. You must know. Surely you must know it was all for you. You are too generous to travel with me. I believe you spoke with my aunt last night and it has taught me to hope, as I had scarcely allowed myself before. If your feelings are still what they were last April, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes have not changed. But one word from you will silence me forever. If, however, your feelings have changed, I would have to tell you. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love and love and love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. Shut the door, please, Elizabeth. Lizzie, are you out of your senses? I thought you hated the man. No, Papa. He's rich, to be sure. He would have more fine carriages than Jane. But would that make you happy? Have you no other objection than your belief in my indifference? None at all. We all know him to be a proud, unpleasant sort of fellow. But this would be nothing if you really liked him. I do like him. Yeah. I love him. He's not proud. I was wrong. I was entirely wrong about him. You don't know him, Papa, if I told you what he was really like, what he's done. What has he done? <laughs> but she doesn't like him. I thought she didn't like him. So did I, so did we all. We must have been wrong. Won't be the first time, will it? <laughs> You're the last, I dare say. Good Lord. I must pay him back. No. You mustn't tell anyone. He wouldn't want it. We misjudged him, Papa, me more than anyone in, in every way, not just in this matter. I've been nonsensical. He's been a fool about, about Jane, about so many other things, but, but then so have I. You see, he and I are, he and I are so similar. <laughs> We've been so stubborn.
not to believe that anyone can deserve you. But it seems I am overruled. So, I heartily give my consent. <laughs> I could not have parted with you, my Lizzie, to anyone less worthy. Young men come for Mary or Kitty, for heaven's sake, send them in. I'm quite at my leisure. This evening, my dear. Very well. Only I wish you would not call me my dear. Why? Because it's what my father always calls my mother when he's cross about something. What endearments am I allowed? Well, let me think. Lizzie for every day, my pearl for Sundays, and goddess divine, but only on very special occasions. <sighs> and what shall I call you when I'm cross? Mrs. Darcy? No. No. You may only call me Mrs. Darcy when you are completely and perfectly and incandescently happy. And how are you this evening, Mrs. Darcy? Mrs. Darcy. Mrs. Darcy. Mrs. Darcy.